Uh, so I have four questions. Uh, the first one is, uh, what is the main content of your? Um, so I'm uh, I'm so happy to be invited by TS here, as coming here, and I just recently present a speech, a presentation related to the use of ICL, the implantable columnar lens implant in the posterior chamber uh, with the low anterior chamber depth. Uh, could you share your experience of interaction with Taiwanese people, uh, Taiwanese doctors? Uh, by 2050, the number of, uh, of myopes being estimated by being one by two person. Uh, it means that then we have a one, nearly one billion by my office by 2050. Uh, within the range of the age for refractive surgery, because that we would like to get rid of glasses is uh, between 20 to 40 years old, it will have uh, about uh, 1.5 billion of my ops in total within that age group and 400 million of them are being high myopes. But recent evidence also show that ICL implantation is even better than relaxed my for high myopes, especially the ones having the prescription between minus 6 to minus 10 diopters. In terms of the refractive accuracy, uncorrected visual acuity, and visual quality, especially with fewer higher order aberration. So that's why in many countries, especially in Vietnam, the growth of the rate for the use of ICL implantation is growing up quite fast over the last few years. What is the um, characteristic part of the um, correct, uh, cataract and refractive? Yeah, you mean uh, until now, I can tell that the cataract and refractive surgery in Vietnam is also quite advanced with the most updated technology in Vietnam. So in Vietnam, any kind of uh, most advanced technology in the refractive surgery, we do have now. For example, we have the femtosecond LASIK. We also have the Relax Smile. Smile. Yeah, Relax Smile. And also we do have the ICL implantation with implantable columnar lens and any other kind of refractive lens exchange with the very new and advanced uh, IOL, uh, intraocular lens technology. Okay, um, so uh, the, last, the last one is um, what impressed you the most in Taiwan these days? Oh, well, for myself, uh, Taiwan is uh, quite impressive for me in terms of uh, the beauty of the, your country, the friendliness of your, of your people. Uh, but most of all is when, when I come here, this is my very first time, my, my first time ever coming to Taiwan. And I'm, I was so surprised that the, the Taiwanese uh, society of cataract and refractive surgery is so big. And because this, this, this is one, one of the great opportunity for all kind of the Taiwanese eye surgeon, especially the one who are in the cataract and refractive surgery field, and also for the young surgeon to learn and to, to get more experience from the expert and to improve their skill in the surgery. Uh, until now, until now, I just have a, uh, a chance to try two night market, two night market in uh, in Taiwan. But I do like the Taiwanese food. The Taiwanese food is quite good for me uh, because that Vietnamese food has come some kind of similar to the Taiwanese food. Yeah. So it's, it's really easy for me, and I really enjoyed my time here. Enjoy your time here and try bubble tea or stinky tofu? <laughs> uh, bubble tea, of course, of course, of course. I need to t try bubble tea because this is one of the, 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 this is one of the key tasks that my wife asked me to do. 